Welcome to 3D Print Tech Design. My name is Anton Monson and today we are building this. So that's pretty cool. Here's the like background to the whole story. Now you are probably be familiar with this one here. Yeah, it just broke. I crashed this a lot. This is the OpenRC F1 design by Daniel Rhee. And this is released with the CAD files and everything. So you can download it and print it and things like that. So I decided to do some learning in, in Fusion 360, making some cool models. I started off with modeling uh, in free forms. You can see here I did some customizations. I, I did some modeling, just getting the shape out of it. And this isn't really designed to be 3D printed from the beginning. It was more or less a design in trying to understand how the forms work and the free, um, free forms or whatever you want to call them in, in Fusion 360. So I've been using a lot of 3D Studio Max before and I'm really used to making turbo smooth car designs and stuff like that. So I wanted to try to see if I can do that in Fusion 360. Now I have a bunch of videos on that. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that. So when I was finished with all the design files, everything was just ready to print. So um, let me just show you a montage of that. So uh, let's get back to printing. So there we have the printing and you can see the parts here around me. Now there's five of the red parts which is like the body. You don't need to print the base plates for the car but you really should because these are a little bit wider and I'm pretty sure that I move one of the screw holes here. So you can just print these parts and glue them together and use the screws but they would fit better if you use this bottom plate. There is already a base plate on the F1 car and it's designed to fit onto the wheel hubs and the steering mechanism. So you don't have to think about printing those kind of parts, but you do have to kind of print them if you don't already have an open RC F1 car. So onto that, we have then, except for the bottom plate, we have five red parts and two of these need to be printed with support material. I couldn't find a way around that, so um, it's not that bad. They, they turn out super nice either way. So uh, in a few moments, you're just gonna remove all the support materials. Here, so that's pretty cool. Now there's also a few other parts. This was printed like this. This was printed like so, and of course the hood that is printed like this. The files I'm gonna show you here might be adjusted a little bit because I haven't assembled it yet. But the plan is that this, this roof part here just goes on this part and it, it's gonna be stick together with magnets, but I'm not sure that four magnets is enough when you drive on rough roads. So I might do some other type of mechanism so uh, you can kind of have uh, easy access to your batteries and motors and everything like that. But the plan is to assemble it something like this. And I think that's gonna look super cool. And if you want, you can do something like this, which is a mini Ferrari. The mini Ferrari. And so it looks a little bit weird, but I think it's pretty cool. No, I'm just kidding. So 
These are the ports. You don't really need a lot of new hardware ports. I'm going to list all of them here so you can see. And with that said, I'm going to start assembling this because the first step is of course to remove the support material. But then uh, it's better to assemble the whole body first because it will actually just glide onto the, uh, to the existing body which I have here. So hopefully that works. So uh, cue the montage of removing support materials. Alright, so now when that's done, we finish up the parts, it's time to insert some M3 nuts. Now we have a few places we need to do that on. Uh, you will find those here, 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 and here, as well as over here. So uh, let's just get ahead and do that. Uh, sometimes you need to use like a clamp to squeeze them in a little bit. They are designed to have a self-locking mechanism, but eh, sometimes it's a little bit ex extensive. So I just put those in and then we are ready to assemble this body because again it, it's best to, to make sure that these parts fit first and then we'll transfer all the electronics and the stuff from that bottom plate into the next one and then we should be able to merge them together and have an awesome cool car. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay now when we have that done it's time that we actually remove the red parts from the car design. And uh, as you can see, this, this one has, has taken some beating. So remember to save the screws, especially the front one. It's a little bit longer than some of the other ones. So let's just get cracking here. Expose what's inside. Well, we kind of know. There's some glue, some parts. It's all falling apart right now. It's looking really, really cool. I can't wait to get this on. Wow, if anyone just had designed a uh, workbench to use with the FNRC F1 car right now, that would be so good. Cool stuff. Ta-da! Body is off. This should be enough to start transferring stuff to the, to the new, new build plate. So I just want to turn that around like the other one is. And let's see, how do we do this best? Maybe... Uh, yeah, maybe just do it. Let's just go ahead and uh, start unscrewing it because these parts should all just move over. Now, uh, I broke some of the parts here on my rear of my car as well. So this, the thing that holds the rear wing is actually kind of good to have uh, to keep because it's going to help with um, mounting the last red piece. I'm actually going to glue that piece instead of screwing it in because I don't have the, the bearing or the rear axle holders intact. There we go. Now we can start moving the electronics over. And we have, the, of course, the steering. I'm just going to unscrew that. It's going to take a few minutes, so uh, I'll be back in a few. <laughs> okay, so it's all assembled here on the electronics. So let's just see if it all still kind of works. Uh, I'm just gonna power it on. That looks interesting. Uh, yeah, we can steer. Ooh. And we can drive. That's awesome. We have everything we need. I'm gonna shut this down so we don't do any accidents. All right, let's go ahead and uh, finish this off, shall we? All right, the electronics works. We are in the motor here. Let's see if we can uh, assemble this one here. So we have in the front, we have one screw that goes on like this. So we can kind of do that latest. So that would go on like this. So I'm gonna leave that for now and we'll, we'll uh, screw that on later or possibly even glue it because I wanna get this going. Okay, so um, how do we do this? This is supposed to just fall on. Maybe if we like lift up the electronics. And it should uh, kind of glide on here. Let's see. Let's get the electronics out. 
there's a power burning in what what is that is that it Holy, no way. Ah, oh, there's some cables still in between. But that's it, I think. Let's see here. Ah, oh. oh my God. Check that out. Oh, that fits so well. Oh, oh yes. This is wicked. I think we need some new tires, that's for sure. But come on, just look at that. What? That is freaking epic. You can even see the engine in here. <laughs> see if it gets some cooling. Oh my god, I need to uh, I need to screw on the last pieces here, that's for sure. Wow. Alright, let's screw on the last pieces and let's have a look at it. Oh my god, so <laughs> I'm so pleased with the result. It's now all screwed in together. It's working, it's rotating, it's driving, as you probably saw soon. And I mean, I, I'm speechless. It's just so cool. I'm really, really happy with the result. I hope you like it too. And uh, I think that's it. I'm gonna show you guys some cool angles and some cool videos now. And of course, if you wanna see like the release video, you can find that down below in the link and also in the like, end screens. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. It was super fun making this project. It was super fun making. If you want to build yourself your own, you can find all the links down below. And with that said, I think you really should like, comment, and hopefully subscribe. Maybe you can even share this video with friends and, and uh, people who enjoy 3D printing and RC cars and car design. Because now everyone can get a Ferrari Enzo themselves. But I do need some, some of your help as well. Now, if you would be so kind and send me suggestions on what kind of tires to model, I will go ahead and do that. You can tweet me that below as well at the handle that you find down in the description and here somewhere. And uh, yeah, with that, I think we're gonna end it with some cool shots and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye. <laughs>